Ladies and gentlemen, happy Wednesday. This is Ian again doing a box opening, this time with Ultimate Masters. Uh, this one was probably the longest weekend of my life. I got this on Monday, so I had to wait the two days for it to be shipped here. And I still have another box coming in the mail that I am very impatiently waiting for, but we're gonna open this up and see what we got because this set is absolutely insane. Got our box topper. All right. And we got our packs. I think really the only thing that I'm super hoping to get would be Phyrexian Altar and Phyrexian Tower, uh, just because I need them for EDH, but we will probably enjoy basically just about everything that we pulled here. And the packs are backwards, so I'll just do the the rares and the foils and the uncommons. So our first foil is Mark of the Vampire. Our first rare is <laughs> Staring Wildwood, the, probably one of the cheapest rares in the set. And we got Heap Doll, ooh, Sleight of Hand, ooh, and a Young Pyromancer, so pretty sweet uncommons. So, I got this box actually pretty cheap. I just cashed in all my rewards points from Amazon, so it really only cost me about like $70. So, I can't really lose value on it. So, I'm not really too worried about that. I'm just kind of excited to open the packs. So, we got a foil vessel of endless rest. That almost doesn't seem foil. That's interesting. Well, you can kind of see it a little bit. Our rare is a Wall of Reverence. This is a great EDH card, at least I think so, for, you know, Defender Flying and you gain life. Firewing Phoenix, Chainer's Edict. I'm super excited to get these for Pauper, Urban Evolution. They were, uh... oh, I got my piles mixed up already. They're kind of a gatekeeper for me for certain decks and poppers just because they're so expensive and now they're like a dollar so I'm really excited about that very cool citizen token <laughs> a foil foil all right cool and our rare is through the breach this is actually a really cool deck in modern and honestly this is probably pretty good for edh too i'll, pr I'll find a home for it i'm sure we got fecundity. Ooh, anger. Cool. That was in my staples binder. Maybe I don't need it in there anymore. All right. Pack number four. No mythics, no foil rares yet. I have seen a lot of videos where people pull multiple foil rares in the boxes, so I'm wondering if the um, the rates were up on that. Ooh, foil buried alive. That's a good one. And our rare. Hey, we got it. All right, that was quick. Cool. Phyrexian Altar, awesome. Put that up in the great pile. Ooh, Misfail Planes, Snake Umbra, Laboratory Maniac. I had like seven of those. They're now worth like 50 cents. Cool. Well, now we just need a Phyrexian Tower. And, uh,. Everything else will be just a bonus. Got soldier token. Walker of the Grove as a foil. Ooh, Caracas. All right, first mythic. Um, this is a, I think it's a pretty good card, especially in EDH, it's awesome. Uh, but in Legacy, it's played too. So not a bad first mythic. Ooh, my first ever Kitchen Finks too, cool. That used to be way too expensive. Or Umbra, ooh, one of my old favorites, Unburial Rites. Used to play an Unburial Rites deck in standard. Cool, so we got our first mythic. Let's keep this going. Homunculus token. Foil travel preparations. Put only one counter on each of up to two target creatures in flashback. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. 
Our next rare, ooh, Urborg, cool. This is a really interesting land. Uh, it doesn't have too much of an impact in EDH, although actually, never mind, because uh, a lot of the cards that double the black mana from swamps, this would be pretty good, actually. Huh. All right, cool, I'm excited to have that. Put that up there. Songs of the Damned. Ooh, that's a good card too. Circular Logic and Conflagrate. Very cool. I'm actually gonna add Through the Breach up here too. Cause I was kind of excited about that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll get the combo. I'll get an Emrakul and Agoria's Vengeance. Zombie token. Ooh. Foil Fire and Ice, that's a really cool one. And ooh, a Ruined Halo. This is also really good in EDH. You just name their commander and you have protection from it. Emancipation Angel, Rise from the Tides, Rolling Trembler. All right, so I don't know if we have like the most expensive pulls or anything, but they're cards I'm gonna play, which is the most important part. Spark Elemental. <laughs> Foil Terramorphic Expanse. That's cool. These are, uh... Well, I guess there's the Slivers deck, but these are kind of hard to come by now because they only do, uh... Evolving Wilds now. Ooh, Flagstones of Trorakir. Interesting. Alright, I don't know what I can do with that, but it's cool. Miraculous Recovery, Grave Strength, Mahamodi Jin. Oh, that used to be rare. Cool. Oh, Frantic Search is that common. Interesting. Ooh, fire, nice. Cool. I think we're actually probably doing pretty well so far. We still have haven't seen a foil rare either, so we'll see. Alright, Verdant Eidolon. Huh. Whoa. Wow, that's interesting. I'll play that. That seems pretty good. Ooh, Sublime Angel. This used to be a mythic and it used to be pretty expensive, which is why I never had it, but it gives everything exalted. That's pretty good. Major Network, Last of Genius, Golgari, ooh, Golgari Thug, that's a pretty good one too. I don't think it's worth anything anymore, but that's pretty good because I only had one because they were like $4, $5 for an uncommon. Love these elemental tokens. Ooh, we got a Foil and Tomb. Cool, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no way, what are the odds? Wow, that's that's a really good pack. Murderous Red Cap, ooh, Devoted Druid too? Wow, that was an insane pack. I don't think I've ever gotten a foil rare that was the same as the regular rare in the pack before. That was cool. Zombie Token, Foil Heliod's Pilgrim. Thespian Stage, this is one half of the um, Dark Depths combo. I have a couple of these, so meh. Counter Squall, Magma, Mystic Retrieval. Ooh, can never have too many of those. And the Foil in Tomb is pretty sweet. The Foiling seems kind of weak, though. It, like, it's, it's very hard to see unless it's in certain light. I wonder if it's maybe just the lighting's bad or what? Who's token? Wow. That's a good foil on common. Wow. See, that looks good. I like the, like the, is it milk? Looks like it's milk, but wow. That's pretty. Ooh, and it all is dust. Cool. This'll be really good for when I build a colorless commander. I'm gonna put that up there. I'm excited about that. Ancestors Chosen, Stand from the Spider, Spirit Charm. Oh, oops, one time. There we go. 
we're halfway through the boss now, I think. Still only one mythic. Sound token. Sultai Skullkeeper. There's a lot of these cards that I just don't know. Ooh, Bridge from Below. That's an interesting card. Hmm. I wonder if that... I know it's playable in Modern, but I wonder if it's playable in uh, EDH. Let's figure that out. Vengeful Rebirth. Great new art. Ooh, Brawn. And War Leader's Helix. They always seem to print War Leader's Helix, and everybody wants Lightning Helix. Me included, because I don't have any. And they're kind of expensive. I don't like paying more than like a dollar or so for an uncommon, unless it's like, you know, Force of Will or something like that. Spirit Token. Patchwork Gnomes. Ooh, Fulminator Mage. I've never had one of these before either. These are really good. Dawn Charm, Arsene Kozilek, become immense. Cool. Oh, Treasure Cruise. Packs are way easier to. Ooh. Worm Token. Who makes worm tokens? I don't know. Oh my god, the foiled Gurmog Angler. Wow. We're doing really good with these foil on commons and commons. Again, it's so hard to see though. I don't I don't know if it's just the lighting or what. You can kind it. Oh my god. Ooh. Second mythic is a mana vault. Cool. I do not have any of these, so this is awesome. I'm gonna put that right in the staples binder. Eternal Witness, I always need more of these, plus the art is just so cool. Look at that art. Love that art. I need more of those. Hopefully I get some more. I should, I'm getting a second box, so if I don't get any more in this one, then hopefully I get another. Or two or three or more. It seems like every EDH deck I build with green, I want to put that in. Elemental token. Foil conviction. Glenelendra. Cool. I can never have too many of these either. This is a really good card. Uh, especially in decks that can abuse it. So I'm glad. I like the new art. I'm glad the price has dropped. That's pretty dope. Ooh, unstable mutation. Boneyard worm. Plumevale. I haven't seen Plumevale in a while. Actually, no, I think it was in Modern Masters 2015. Ooh. Zombie token. Foil spirit charm. Did we already get a foil spirit charm? And a gamble. I really like this new art, but I don't know what I would do with a gamble. Levelant Whispers, Felon's Leader, Iridescent Drake. Another fire nice, cool. So, we're getting on the trail end here. We haven't gotten any of the super big hitting cards. Although Caracas and Mana Vault are pretty good mythics. Spark Elemental. Cathodeon. Not sure what that is. When it dies, add three color. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Just when I said I didn't get any, any power hitters, there's Noble Hierarch. Wow. Okay, cool. Spider spawning, the number worm, Dakmore salvage. All right, well, I definitely added some to it. I still like a Karn or Liliana because I haven't had them in forever, not since they came out in packs. This is a really cool token. Shielding plaques. Only one foil rare though. Lava claw reaches. We're getting all the bad man lands. All right. Appetite for Brains, Shire. Oh, that's cool. I can finally build a uh, EDH deck with him. Because I didn't have him before. He wasn't expensive or anything, but I just didn't have him. We've got five packs, including this one. Homunculus. Wow! There's a second foil rare, and it's a awesome one. I love this card. Oh, this card so much, and the foil looks actually pretty good. This one you can see, wow. 
Very cool. Awesome. I'm psyched about that. And a Revial Arc. I think this is actually in my Staples Binder, so having more of it's not that bad. Burrowing Phoenix. Okay. Still need more Eternal Witnesses, though. Come on. They're cheap now, though. Thank God. Because they were like, they were getting up there. They were like six or seven bucks. Spider. Reckless Charge. Nourishing Shoal. Okay, cool. So if I ever play Grishel Brand. Ooh, New Art Slippery Boggle. That's cool. Apprentice Necromancer, that used to be a rare. And Brazen Scourge. Haste 3333. Three, three. Interesting as an uncommon. I feel like there's a lot more powerful things you could do at uncommon in this set. But maybe not. I haven't drafted it. Elemental Token. Foil Hissing Iguana. Ooh, there's a good man land. Celestial Colonnade. I think that's actually the best man land. Fiend Hunter, Wild Hunger, Forbidden Alchemy. Alright, two packs left. Let's see if we can get another mythic here. Zombie Token. Wow! These foil commons and uncommons are insane. Holy cow. Wow, we've had a lot of luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think that count or that uncommon's worth more than Rhea. Fecundity, Snake Umbra, Angel of Despair. Used to be a rare. Ooh, nice rhyme. All right, last pack. Let's see if we get anything. Citizen token, foil basking root walla, and a venge vine. Cool, we got a third mythic. Ooh, I love venge vine. This is. Actually, one of my favorite uh, cards, especially in modern. Cool, very cool. So we did get three mythics and two foil rares. Dreamscape artist, furnace celebration, swift reckoning. All right, here we go. It's the moment everyone's been waiting for, including me. Ooh, Micaeus, that's really cool. It's not one of the more expensive ones, but dang, is that cool looking. Wow. Very cool. All right, that was a pretty cool first box. Try to get the uh, glare out of the way. I think we did pretty good. I don't think we had any, you know, well, we got the Noble Hierarch, we got a Caracas and a Mana Vault. So, uh, yeah, I think it was pretty good. Well, now I, can't, now I can't wait for Friday. Friday's going to have the second box. But thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.